Are you looking for real data about the San Jose real estate market? Are you wondering about local stats and which direction the market is trending? Well, stay tuned as we dive right into that. Hi, I'm Teresa Wellman, your local San Jose, California realtor with homeownerexperience.com. I strive to help my clients make wise decisions for themselves based on real data and step-by-step -step guidance. So today we're gonna cover real market stats and go over some of the indicating metrics that are telling you where the market is headed. So let's jump right into the computer and look at the real charts. Okay, so here we are with a little bit different view than I've done in the past. So if you like this view, please comment below. I would appreciate your feedback. But this is a highlight of kind of the market and where it's headed. So we're comparing data to last month. As you can see, the average price was up 2.1% for San Jose, and the number of sales was up 11.5%. So great indication of the market increasing. So today's market is a seller's market with days of inventory all the way down to 25. That means all single family homes on the market will sell in 25 days at the current rate of sales. So it's a really fast pace. Pending sales are up 48%, while inventory is only up 21%. So we have an imbalance there, as you see, um, which is creating multiple offers and a sales price to list price ratio on average of 105.7%. So we're going to continue to see the seller's market until we have a really huge increase of inventory and a, a, a shift in that imbalance. Currently, there are 226 active homes on the market in San Jose with over 360 pending. So that means 61% of the single family homes available for sale are in contract. Wow, that's a really hot move-in market. So now let's jump over to the chart just to give you an overview of the way things have been traveling and going up and down seasonally. So you can see here we are still at extremely low inventory comparing to late 2017, early 2018. And we're seeing a price uh, increase because of that, which I expect that to continue again until that supply and demand um, imbalance is fixed a little bit. The only potential unknown or um, thing that could hold the market back would be this threat today of coronavirus. And we don't have much in this area, but there are a lot of precautions being put in place and definitely the stock market has been all over the place as well as consumer confidence is down. So that is affecting some of the buyer's mentality. I have seen in the higher end that buyers are pulling away because um, their money is fluctuating in the stock market or just because they're not sure of financial stability right now. And I don't know how much that'll affect the market. I have not seen that on the lower end yet but only time will tell of course so I do want to quickly look back at the Santa Clara County data all the way back to 2003 why 2003 well that was when SARS actually um, hit in April 2003 and so I'm curious to just compare or to see what happened during that time so inventory dropped drastically during that time and I think again maybe that was consumer confidence the stock market then was not as uneasy and you see sales actually continued and were healthy prices modestly appreciated very modestly so um, I would say we had a pretty healthy market it actually spurred on maybe a little bit more crazy of a healthy market because the inventory dropped so much um, but today's inventory levels are nowhere near what we saw back in the early 2000s. We've been running really low inventory because of all the jobs and high tech here. And today with those really low interest rates, we of course are seeing buyers jumping in and the affordability being much better. So take a look below in my comments for links to unemployment and interest rates. Interest rates are 3.5% for 30 you're fixed or lower and the unemployment is still extremely low so we are in a very healthy market so stay tuned to see how things shape up this spring thanks for watching <music>